So when it comes to what I what I really consult and and what I tell you know all of my clients, it's all about it's all about steps. It's all about a value ladder, right? It's all about it's all about let me let me let me let me start showing off small, right? That's what I've been telling you this entire time since we've been speaking is how I start my clients. I start them small, and then I gradually increase them from there, right? It's the same with ads. It's the same with Facebook ads. It's the same with 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 rolling out the first ad. That's why what I mentioned, my strategy is, is to run the like ad so you can get that like count up, right? That's number one. And then number two is the intro ad, the intro video ad. And all you're doing in that video is you're saying you're introducing yourself. You're introducing yourself. You're letting people know exactly who you are and what you're looking for. I'm looking for business owners. I'm looking for restaurant owners who are sick and tired of of not running effective ads on social media. Maybe you tried running Facebook ads before and never captured any new customers. Maybe you tried putting money towards Google and never found any new customers online. What we specialize in here at Royal Media is we help small business owners. We help restaurants get more customers from Facebook advertising than you've ever, you know, imagined before. We really have a passion in, the, in what we do. Let me tell you a little bit of experience about myself and, and why I'm so excited about helping restaurants. So all it is, is it is an intro of who you are, why you're excited, and who exactly you're looking for. Like I'm looking for business owners. I'm looking for restaurants who are sick and tired. I'm looking for restaurants who need more customers. I'm looking for restaurants who want to find more customers on social media with simple Facebook advertising. I put together a seven page PDF that's going to give you the top tips on how to get more customers on social media, right? So, so you could say something like that in the intro, but it's really the first video, the first intro, it's not even to pitch them the PDF. So that's not going to come until the next video. The very first video ad is just to say hello, just to say hello, just to introduce yourself, just to introduce your agency. And let people know, hey, this is who we're looking for. If that's you, feel free to send us a message. Feel free to follow us on Facebook and 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 and, or or feel free to comment below. But 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 here's why I'm all excited and I just wanted to introduce myself. I wanted to introduce our Royal Media Company because we're gonna be helping a lot of restaurants in 2021. So the whole objective with that, man, is to not get them to click learn more to download your PDF right now. So I, I I didn't mean to say what I said a few minutes ago about you know, click, you know, download seven tips. No, that's not right now. That's not in the intro video because the only objective with the intro video, watch, go to click on home real quick, click on home, go to your newsfeed, go to your newsfeed. The whole objective with the first video ad is to simply capture right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Scroll over that video, scroll over. Don't click, just, just put your cursor. Okay. That's a 49 second video. The whole objective with your intro video is to simply capture the audience of those who watch it. That's it. That's it. So it's not to get them to click learn more. So you're not going to have a learn more. You're not going to have a landing page right now. Not for the intro video. It's not needed. Mm -hmm. All I'm looking to do is find my audience. Because what you're telling Facebook, you can tell Facebook who you're looking for in the targeting, right? In the ad set level. I'm, I'm, I'm. What's that? So to be targeting then specifically restaurants or, or, or somebody who was interested in a restaurant could, or any type of you, you could tell that to Facebook. You could tell it to Facebook. Uh, hey, man, here, Facebook, I'm looking for people in this age. I'm looking for this gender. I'm looking for people that live in this area. I'm looking for people who fit the interest of restaurant owner. You can tell that to Facebook. And Facebook's going to say, OK, here's a population of 300,000 people that fit this criteria. But what you're not able to tell Facebook just yet is who out of the 300,000 people are actually going to like you. Facebook doesn't know that, that. right? Facebook doesn't know that part until you put out you, until you put out your video. So my whole strategy, our whole strategy here, the whole strategy I'm I'm giving you is the intro, a 49-second video of who the hell you are. All you're doing is introducing yourself. All you're doing is introducing your business. All you're introdu- all you're doing is saying, "Hey, this is who I'm looking for. This is who I'd love to help." And so, let's say for example, yours is a 49 second video. All we want to do with that first video is create a custom audience of those who watched it. 
Now, we don't need to create a custom audience of all those who watched 49 seconds of it, but let's say it's a 49 second video. We want to capture at least a custom audience of those who watch half of it. So if it's 49 seconds, those who watch 50%, that's going to be a custom audience. That's going to be a custom audience. So now, now what I'm going to do, remember, our first ad was the like ad, but that doesn't count. Now we're talking about our strategy, our weekly strategy, our first actual Facebook ad. It's the video, right? Now we have an audience of those who watched 50% of 49 seconds. Now we create a custom audience of those people, and then we show them, we retarget them on our next ad. On our next ad is, is your second video. That's when you're now, that's when you now have the learn more button. And that's when you're now running conversions. And that's when you're now giving away your PDF. Now you're showing your second video to those who watched your first. Oh, I see. All right. So basically, so by the, the first, time, I didn't... but, but well, hold up real quick. By the time they see your second video, they're now more familiar with you because they just saw you introduce yourself a week ago on the first video. Now they're seeing another one. They don't know how they're seeing another one. They don't realize that they watched half of the first one and you're retargeting them with the second one. They don't know that much, but psychologically they're like, holy shit, there he goes again. And so now as they wa now as more people watch the second video, what am I going to do with that one? Now I'm going to create an audience of those who watch half of that one. Now, when I go run my third video, I'm retargeting everyone who watched my intro. I'm retargeting everyone who watched my second video. Now those people are going to see my third. And as you keep doing that, as you keep creating custom audiences of those who are watching your videos, people in this small area of 15 miles, they keep seeing you. And that's how you create the omnipresence. That's, how, that's why sometimes when you come online, you keep seeing the same damn advertiser because all they're doing is retargeting. You're watching their shit. So all they're doing is retargeting you. And you think that they're spending a ton of money in advertising. You think that they're all over the internet and all over the place. In reality, they're not. They're just retargeting those who are watching them. And it, and it makes you think that they're all over the place. But they're, they're really not. So on the first video, I don't have any button with it. Am I telling them anything to do, like like uh, or, or subscribe or? Uh, you can, you can, you can mention, you can mention it. You can mention it. You can say, hey, and if well, you if if you're a restaurant owner, send you know, feel free to send me a message because the learn more button it'll be a send message button. It'll be send okay, message, right. but but it's not a send message ad. It's a video ad. It's a video view ad. It's only to get people to watch the video. That's the only reason why you're running it. That's the objective. That's what you're telling Facebook. That's what you're paying for. You're strictly okay. paying for views. You're not paying for people to click. That's so you can put a send message there button. It'll say, instead of learn more, it'll say send message. And you can mention that in the video. So you could tell you people, hey. That or no? Would you what? suggest that? Would you advise that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're going to put a send message button. So you can. You can, you can, you can message that. You can mention mention that in the video. But I'm just, I'm just letting you know, no one's gonna message you because it's not a message. It's not a message ad. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a video ad. Right, but so but you have to, you have to fill the space with something. And yeah, it'll be send message. And you can tell them, yeah, feel free to like, feel free to comment, feel free to follow us on our page, feel free to send me a message if you have any questions. But again, I'm not holding my breath waiting for people to send me a message. It's not going to happen because that's not the ad I'm running. I'm running a video oh, yeah. ad, you know? So, but again, the, 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 the strategy is to simply find the audience. So when you tell Facebook, I'm looking for this demographic, I'm looking for this age, I'm looking for this gender, I'm looking for people who have this interest, then you run your video, that's when you narrow it down even more. Now, Facebook was able to find the 3,000 people who actually watched half of the first video. Now I have my audience. Now I have the 3,000 people in my custom audience to show them ad number two and ad number three, and ad number four, and ad number five. I'm going to keep retargeting those same people on every ad. So by the time I'm on, by, by the time I'm on ad number nine, I'm retargeting everyone who watched videos one through eight. And the first, yes, yes, yes. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it all starts with the intro. It all starts with the intro. I want to just introduce myself before I throw you in the back seat and try and to- And you keep that intro going on forever, basically. 
Almost. It can. Yeah, man, it can. You could put in a low budget per day and let it run forever because 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 you're not going to you're not going to you're not going to hit all hunt all. Let's say, for example, you put in, you know, the 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 demographics, the the targeting, the interest. And there's a there's a there's a population, a potential reach of 200,000 people. You're not going to reach 200,000 people on your five dollar a day budget or even on your ten dollar a day budget. Even if you're spending 100 bucks a day, you're not going to reach the 200,000 people anytime soon. So if I'm running a video ad and I have it at three bucks a day, I can let that bitch run forever, and it's not gonna it's not gonna exhaust the population at all. Like it'll take forever for two hundred thousand people to see it at that small budget. But yeah. it's a good thing because I leave it on, and I just keep retargeting everyone who's watching it. You know, so yes. so all right. So that that would be the first video. Then it goes. Uh... I mean the the ad with uh, with to learn more, and it's taking me to the landing page. Yes. So where yes. do I start learning the more about Kartra? Like, once you we... what, get up this intro video, make this intro video, and 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 fix the billing, fix the 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 payment on the ads manager, um, fix your payment on the Kartra. And then, and then, and then, and then make the intro video right now. Like make the intro and make it a goal. Today's today's Thursday. Let's make it a goal to the next time we talk. Let's run the ad on the vi on the intro. All right. So let's do it by Monday. Then I'll put can perfect, we perfect next goal perfect. On Monday and I'll have the done. And uh, when can you send me this video? Whatever you recommend. I'm gonna send to you right now yes. once we're done. And I'm gonna email you okay. the info the information on Fiverr. But but yeah. here's what you Thanks. wanna do too, man. On on your cell phone, are you recording it from your cell phone, the video? No, no. I have zero memory to be honest. I need to clean all the crap from my phone and I can't even take a photo on my phone. Okay, okay. Speak. Man, you're just like my wife. My my wife, <laughs> shit, man. She can't she can't even text me her damn shit so full. I'm like, man, shit, who oh, does man, that? like I can't I swear, I swear Bro, like you don't back up your shit. Put put your do you use Dropbox? No. I don't oh, man, use bro. I don't I'm gonna send you a link for Dropbox, okay? Do Set it. up Dropbox on your phone and start start putting all your images on Dropbox. Okay, we see. And then, right, and then you right. delete it off your phone. Oh, nice. Perfect. So, so if Go I take an, if I take a picture on my on my cell phone, like here's what I do. Here's me personally. My it's just me personally. When you look at my computer, there's no files there. When you look at my cell phone, there's no files there. No images, no videos. I don't have shit on my cell phone or on my computer. Because right when I take a, a picture on my phone, for example, if I'm taking a picture of my wife or my kids or whatever, if I'm taking yeah. pictures. Right away, I upload it to Dropbox. I have the app Dropbox on my phone. So right away, I upload the image to Dropbox and I delete it off my phone. Hmm. So now, right. now, now everything is in the cloud. Everything is up in Dropbox. Everything is in the cloud and I have free space on my cell phone. And then with, with, with my computer, any files, I upload it to Dropbox. All my PDFs, all my images, I upload it to Dropbox and then I delete it off my computer. Videos, I'll upload it to YouTube and then or 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 Dropbox and then I'll delete it off my computer. Alrighty. So if you guys are catching this video on YouTube, I'll put a link for Dropbox. It's free. Dropbox is free. So set up a free account. There's a link in the description, but I'll email you the link as well, bro. Um, and, and then I'll and then I'll email you the, the Fiverr. So there, there's a discount on the Fiverr. So look in the in the in the description as well. There's a link for Fiverr. So for graphics and for ebook, all that shit. That's Fiverr. That's what I use for Fiverr. But but clear out your phone, man. Download the, the app for Dropbox and, and freaking I'll send you the link and just clear out your phone because the best videos are on your phone, man. The best videos are outside with 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 real sunlight outside on, on your cell phone. And when you're recording video, always hold it for Facebook specifically for Facebook and for YouTube. Always hold the phone horizontal widescreen. Okay, not not vertical. You you do vertical for vertical. Instagram, but for Facebook, it's the widescreen. Hold the phone sideways when you're doing video. Horizontal, all right. All horizontal, right. okay. And 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 the best is is outdoor. You know, during the day when you have the perfect lighting. Don't do it inside if you have no if if the lighting isn't good, you know. Oh, and, right. and again, bro, has nothing to do with how you look, has nothing to do with how you sound, your accent, none of that shit, bro. None of that matters, man. None of that matters, bro. None of that matters because 
when it's all said and done, we're talking about billions of people. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of people in your local area. The percentage that actually res- relate to you, the percentage that actually end up liking you is all you need. That's right. You I know? agree. So, well, so 99%, schedule next time for- nine, 99% could be like, oh, man, that guy's freaking, where the hell is he from? Different country. I don't even want to do business with him. But the 1%, the 1% that actually say, hey, man, I like that guy. The 1% will feed your family, family, bro. The 1% will feed your family forever. So all you need is 1%. You don't need freaking 100%. You don't even need 10%. 1%, bro, 1%. Give me 1% of the market and we can make, we can make a lot of money. 1% it is. You know? So, so knock out the intro video and then schedule another call and let's run that video ad together. All right. I'll email you here shortly all the info. All right. So I'll schedule for Monday. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Just schedule on my calendar. Real do. All right, brother. Thanks, man. Thank you. Take Have care. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Yep.